Welcome back guys, we're doing Russian Fleet in Dilemma next. We're on firepower and speed. Now, if you choose a hull form that has 117 or higher, and reduce the beam and draft down to minimum, you can basically get free speed without it costing hardly any weight or cost. So it's an exploit. You don't have to do this. But if you want to use the exploit, then by all means, go for it. So maximum bulkheads, maximum range, 84 veterancy, oil 3, forced boilers, group 3. So I've gone for incendiary, but that's not particularly necessary. You can go for capped, so you can destroy the enemy smaller ships easier. Looks like I've uh, not actually messed about with any of this. So, there's been a few updates since I last played the game, so... I think it's better off going for this design. Stick this on light so you have a shallower trajectory. Uh, I reckon that one's probably the best and this one. Coincidence range finder. You don't have to have gen 3. Gen 2 works perfectly fine. Just a... Well, it doesn't even look like I've messed about with the armor. So I've gone for max on the gun barrels. I'm not on the latest patch, so there is a... A later patch that has changed how the uh, the gun barrel length works. So you'd probably have to reduce this. I don't know how much by. Like I say, I haven't actually updated the game. Because uh, I'm halfway through a campaign and I didn't want it to wreck the campaign. So you might not want max gun barrel length. Probably 15 or 12. Something like that would work fine. But I don't actually know for certain. So I go for two different calibers, uh, 11s and 8s, but you can go for all the same if you want. There's just a couple of, well, there's a couple of reasons that I do this that I'm not going to bother going into, but I do like to have two different calibers of main guns. And then a load of smaller guns down the side, 1.7 and 3.9s. So... We've got a main tower 7 and a, a rear tower 7. So we've got the best towers on. And then enough engine efficiency. And we're able to build 16 of these heavy cruisers because of this abuse of the whole form mechanic. If we turned it up to normal amounts, as you can see, we can only build like five of them. So, yeah, it's an abuse of the system. It's entirely up to you if you want to use it or not, but it makes completing the mission incredibly easy.
Right, so what I usually do is retreat with the destroyers and charge straight at them with the battleships. So the way that you lose is by losing a percentage and destroyers die almost immediately. So that's why I retreat with them. And the way that you win is by killing a percentage. So I usually try and focus on the smaller ships because they're easiest to kill. And then I think you only need to kill one of the four capital ships. I might have them numbers wrong, but I think that's around about right. So, let's just retreat with the destroyers. Okay, so with the battleship I just head straight towards them to act as a bit of a bullet magnet and then to be honest it's been a while since I've actually played this mission but I think you might be able to just stick these on AI mode We'll see what they do on AI mode. If it doesn't work, we can just control them ourselves. So make sure they're on ahead. I used to just put them in a battle line, but unfortunately, you can't do that anymore. Because some stupid system which makes all the ships go faster the more ships there are in a battle line. So if you put more than, like, say, six ships in a battle line, they'll start to travel at, like, 70, 70 knots and stupid numbers like that, so... Oh dear. I can't change the speed of some of these. Yeah, it's not letting me, so let's take him off AI mode. So you can put them in follow line, but you're risking a follow loop crash if you do that. So use it at your own peril. But let's try it. been playing multiple other games that use different controls <laughs> so uh, yeah I keep pressing the wrong buttons okay so he's heading towards the enemy so that's fine so yeah literally all you have to do is just kill all of the smaller ships and then one of the capital ships, so that's all we're going to focus on. Now 
Now they do have very long torpedoes in this, so you might want to turn away like I am doing here. So they're wasting a lot of time aiming at the battleship, which is giving our cruisers a lot longer to actually kill the enemy. So we haven't seen any torpedoes, so I'm going to turn in and then just keep an eye out for torpedoes. I might turn back out again. So we are actually seeing torpedoes heading towards the back line, but we've got so many ships that even if we lose a couple, it makes no difference really. So you can manual aim if you want, obviously. So like, we could have been firing at this armoured cruiser to take him out. But we've got that many ships that I don't really see at the point. And there we go. Simple as that. Just abuse the hull form. So if you don't want to abuse the hull form, then the best ship in my opinion is the battle cruiser large cruiser I think it is so let's have a look new design so yeah this large cruiser so if you don't want to abuse the system that I just showed you then just use the the large cruiser okay so Russian fleet and dilemma Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you soon.